We'll start out with Minnesota and New Orleans. Adrian Peterson is back for the Vikings, at least as we tape here on Tuesday. We don't know what's going to happen the rest of the week, but I'm still going to pick New Orleans. It's at the Superdome. I just think that's going to be too tough for the Vikings, so I'm going to have to go against the Vikings two weeks in a row. Patrick? So I was the only guy that picked the Vikings last year, guys. Thinking that was going to be a brilliant pick and it yeah. propelled me into the pick lead, but uh, I didn't uh, take into account that Adrian Peterson was going to be you know, Mr. Frontier Justice. So I, my heart wants to go Vikings, but my head says, no, I'm going New Orleans. I got to agree, the Saints, uh, I think this is where we see the debut of Teddy Bridgewater. Saints are going to jump out to a big lead, but Teddy will give some hope to the Vikings fans at a time they need it most, 31-20. Saints haven't been over impressive this year, but both of them were off on the road. So they're 0 2. It's a must win situation for them. So the Vikings are coming into a hornet's nest, and it's the Saints go marching. I think it's going to be closer than people think, but I'm still going to pick New Orleans. Just uh, too much there, and they, they rarely ever lose at home. All right. Ty trying to go for another win, which I forgot to mention again this week. Ty also won the pick 'em. Uh, last week, so congratulations to Ty for that. Congratulations. All right. Green Thank Bay you. against Detroit, and uh, our sports director, Landon Evans, has been on the Detroit bandwagon for all this season. I'm actually going to go with him on this one since it's at Detroit, Detroit over Green Bay. Wow, I watched that Green Bay game against the Jets. I was rooting for the Jets so hard, and I just they just couldn't close the deal. By the way, timeout. Oh, I guess I don't give a call. <laughs> You're the timeout guy. That right? would be me. I, uh, I can't call timeout. I'm going to go Green Bay. I got to go Green Bay. Aaron Rodgers, 10-1 and one in games that he started against the Lions. The one he didn't was uh, the concussion game, so he is going to win. It'll be close, though, 28-27. I really would like to take the Lions, but I don't really trust the Lions. <laughs> but because I don't like the Packers, I'm going to take the Lions. <laughs> Great rationale. All the there. If Detroit's going to be anything this year, they got to win games like this. And they're at home. I'll pick them. I, I must say that I think Detroit's defense right now is better than, than, than the Packers' defense, and, and I think their offense can be just as good as the Packers' offense uh, with, so with Calvin John. With, I'm still going Detroit. Still going Detroit. Just okay. a little more rationing why I'm going with Detroit. <laughs> okay. And um, it's at Detroit. Third game is uh, Pittsburgh and Carolina. Pittsburgh really hurt me when they lost to Baltimore, and Carolina looked good last week, so I'm going to go with the Panthers this week. Pittsburgh is uh, quickly turning into a wretched team. I think the Panthers are an ascending team with a great defense and Cam Newton back on offense. I'm going Panthers all the way. I think it's going to be a little closer than that. Mike Tomlin will rally the troops, and we'll see a ton of field goals, 19 to 12. That's right, eight field, eight field goals. Start all your kickers in both of these games. Well, would you, you, who would you, won? Who would you pick? I have the Panthers, 19 to 12. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I really like the Panthers' defense, and uh, Pittsburgh's offense looked bad against Baltimore. I think the Panthers' defense is better than the Ravens, so uh, I'm taking Carolina. That, Despite not having uh, great wide receivers, they still have Greg Olson and Cam Newton played well in his, his debut, so I'll take the Panthers. Everybody's on the Panthers' bandwagon and here and nationally. Yeah, I'll take the Steelers. Oh, Why not? Okay, yeah. for, sure. Uh, Denver against Seattle. Well. Oh. <laughs> I don't know about this one. This one's going to be a tough one, but I have to go uh, with Denver. Has Richard Sherman been exposed? I think he will be this week against Peyton Manning. Never go against Seattle at home. You know, they got the 12th man out there. They're pretty much unbelievable. Don't ever, don't ever start a fantasy player in Seattle. I'm going Seattle. Uh, I agree with you, except when Peyton Manning comes to town. There's going to be revenge, and you better believe this is a game that the Broncos have circled on their schedule. 28-24 Broncos. I, I think the Seattle defense may have got exposed a little bit against uh, San Diego, but I'm not, I'm not going to go out and say that uh, Richard Sherman was exposed. I think Peyton Manning is going to uh, just take what the defense gives him. But with Seattle being at home, and, and I'm still not trusting Denver's defense, even though they brought all those guys in, uh, I, even though there's a revenge factor for as well as Seattle uh, played last year against Denver, I've got to take Seattle, especially since they're at home. Seattle's a different team at home than on the road. Like historically, on the like this team on the road last year, they didn't. They went what five and three, so they they lost games, and and it was like over a hundred or reportedly over a hundred on the field in San Diego, and just the the heat took its toll. And like Chargers are used to that, and the Seattle not necessarily is. And Seattle had a bad game. There, nobody other than the well, technically the Patriots had a perfect regular season, but nobody's ever really perfect. And Give me uh, the team that won the Super Bowl 43-8 to or whatever mm -hmm. last year, and that's playing at home. Again, that's going to have the best crowd in the NFL. Give me Seattle. Mm -hmm. All right, then the last one that we have is Chicago at the Jets. I don't know if I'm quite sold on Chicago like Ty Schwartzlow is, but as I said last week, I'm never on the Jets bandwagon, so I'm going with the Bears. 
Well, the Jets, they, that's a devastating loss. I think Chicago came from behind. I hate Chicago. I despise Cutler, but I'm going to go with them. I think Chicago is going to win this one uh, convincingly. Geno Smith will throw a touchdown pass to a Chicago Bear. That's right, pick six for the Bears. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, you can't pick the Jets after you picked Chicago up for San Francisco, over San Francisco last week. <laughs> I, th I think the Jets are maybe better than we, we, we thought coming into the year, uh, but I think the Bears have maybe figured some things out defensively after this past week, and I, I, I think that the running game will rebound this week with Matt Forte, and, and as long as Cutler doesn't make the big mistake, I've got Chicago winning. Everybody's on the Bears. <laughs> this could be another one of those games after next, next Tuesday. It'll be... How could the Bears lose that game? Give me the Jets. Why right. not? Okay. Very good. Patrick, you have the last word. All right. Let's find out who's got $114 of my money. Congratulations, Paul Thompson. Uh, three off. Uh, Viking game off by 39. Lots of upsets. Uh, great reading. Patriot Day. The, Vi the Packer guy he wrote some stuff, too. Anyway, <laughs> what? check out the Winona Post this Wednesday. It's full of bargains and full of great reading. And it's got a great picture in there, too. By yeah, of all of you guys. You're in this. Oh, right? Right? Oh, yeah, oh, the boy. Sports Buzz crew is in here. <laughs> Finally made the paper. Right. Yes. Thanks. Thank you for joining us this week. We'll see you next week here on the Sports Buzz on HBC TV.